Welcome. Going to be going over the knife or custom topology tool. We're going to be cutting a cone and I'll show you how to get those loop cuts on a cone because right now if you hit control R in edit mode you just get these little uh, vertex that are just going to pop on there. Could you imagine trying to do that all the way around? That would be ridiculous. We don't do stuff like that in Blender. We have operators. We have certain things in men mesh manipulation tools that will you know kind of allow us to do a lot more with a lot less time but first thing i want you to get to know these tools okay so we're going to go to edit preferences go to key map then i want you to type in knife right here and this will pop up and you'll have your shortcut keys for the knife topology tool and this is just a key map don't get in here and mess with too much if you have a conflict with another add-on the add-on creator should at least have an idea you know of what main keys are used in blender but if not then you end up with a conflict and you can change that here so if you were to ever press this you can you can make that h but we wouldn't want to do that so we're going to leave this k and this is going to work in edit mode only so if we go over here and hit k nothing's going to happen right now so let's take our object and let's jump into vertex select and we want to be in vertex select because it just makes sense and so if we hit k now we'll have the knife tool now this works a little better in orthographic view so you press one and get your orthographic view and just for the sake of seeing things if your mesh doesn't look like this in object mode you can turn on cavity Otherwise, it's going to look flat and dull, and you won't be able to see the edges and the cavity areas, which makes it very easy to model. doesn't have a whole lot to do with it in edit mode. So now you would hit K, and that will bring this up. Now, if you look at the bottom, you'll see that you can cancel this with escape. All right, let's go ahead and do our cut. I'm just going to start this over and hit K to start it. If you get stuck, just hit escape and get out of it. And I want to cut this in. I'll left click. Now, this is snapping to vertices. Okay, so it's pretty important that you understand what's happening here. So when you get this little highlight, it's snapped to the vertice. And now you've got the proper angle. Well, this is a nice little 45 degree angle here. So you cut here. And then you can cut here. And if you double click, you can just connect it. So it's going to attempt to connect it depending on the locale. So to make that set in stone, you can hit enter. Now that did not cut through. For that, you would need uh, something different. And just as a little plug, I do have a tool in the hard surface toolbox that is a pie menu and it is called the mirror machine. So if I mirror swipe over, it'll turn on wireframe for a second. And actually had the wrong angle uh, so this is a front facing tool and i've got a tool for that so if you were to go in here and you had the mirror machine you'll just see all this stuff you can just hit p and then swipe over and grab it um, i'll show you how to do this with the native tool though but just a quick little plug now i can do that and it will mirror to the front and back and then it's going to turn wireframe on and then off just so you can investigate your mesh so now let's just say you don't have that fancy little tool what you do is you press k <clears throat> and if you don't have that obviously then you'll just hit c that's stupid we will need a different approach so let's go ahead and escape out if you need to hit k and let's constrain it but don't hit anything so down here if you want to cut through it says cut through is off if you press c cut through is now on so if i now cut through here and i'll constrain this to that vert bring it up double click and hit enter voila it cut all the way through now it did cut through the mesh that was back here behind it as well so just keep that in mind you know you don't want to have to come in and maybe grab all these faces and fill them and kind of fix those issues because now I've got all this going on and it's easy to fix but you know 
you just have to be aware of what's going on and how powerful this tool is. So now you could come here and select these, double tap I, give a little inset, and I think we could just delete these faces. <laughs> this is going to clip for sure, but whatever. I'm going to be in edge mode, and I'm going to select this uh, loop, and I'll select this loop, because it does cut really clean topology if you're doing it nice and even. And then we can go up to the loop tools and then bridge that. And there you go. That's kind of neat. So now you've got this neat little cut in um, with a nice clipping to go with it. So that is like the beginning stuffs of using uh, this tool. Now, it gets a little more complicated than that if you want it to. We could take like a uh, top view up here. Now, if I want to mirror this on the Y as well, there's a operator for that. It's a mirror Y negative. So I can just swipe down and it will mirror that and just clean it up all the way around. So it ends up looking kind of good. And that actually turned out to be a neat little design for a cube. And then I've got the option to, you know, change the bevel, make it a little bigger if I want so I can see it. Now, let's go ahead and work on this cone now that you've gone over quite a few things. I want to cut this in. So if you go into vertex select, this is where this gets pretty interesting. The first method I showed was grabbing the bottom edge with shift alt and then control B to bevel it. And when you do that, you offer like a little bevel and then you could grab this loop and double tap G. It does a little bit misshape it unless you bring that all the way up and it gets kind of redundant. Like it is, you kind of run out of space to do that. So what you want to do is do the knife tool. I want to just hit C so I can cut through. And I want to left click and bring it all the way to the last vert. I'm going to hit X to constrain it. Left click. Then you can investigate what you have. If you're happy with it, you can hit enter. And now you've got a nice loop here. And even so, if you wanted to maybe grab that entire loop and bevel, uh, now you've got some things lined up and you could bevel that again and literally just about subdivide it like that. Now I might actually come up with an operator in, inside of the hard service toolbox to do something like this at some point. Uh, currently, I don't, I don't think there's anything that does this that would just automatically resize all of these for a cone because a lot of add-ons are just geo-specific and it's very difficult to make one add-on apply to say everything so i'll just run a couple more cuts and you can <laughs> forgot to press c kind of glad i did that uh, you know because you got to make your mistakes in life i'll press c come across x left click enter boom looks good and yeah that's it there you go and if you don't want it to look too coney at the top, you can press Control V and go to bevel vertices or press Shift Control B. And then you can bevel that down just a little bit, still make it look like a cone. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys understand um, the way to use the knife tool. And there are other options as well. Real quick, you press K and make a point. Uh, you can press A, and you can snap to angles. It'll snap to angles for you. So just kind of go through this a little bit and see what you want to do. And you can hold down middle mouse and get a panoramic view to just kind of look around in there and see what's going on and before you actually are done or place it. So there's good functionality here. Thanks for watching, guys. Smash that subscribe, smash the like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh yeah, and I got 30% off all my add-ons on Blender Market, link in the comments and in the description.